data contradicts what your gut says, or when the data contradicts what your customer's gut says. Mm. How do you manage that? Yeah, I think um, you can't rely 100% on the data mm -hmm. because there's a lot of things that the data doesn't know. So let me give you a great example, is that many companies will use data to, let's say, prioritize, like I mentioned, the people that they should have the salespeople target. Mm -hmm. But many times, if you don't add a layer of actually talking to the salespeople or understanding the specific situation um, beyond just what the data tells you, you don't get a full context of what's going on. And so I think it's an art and a science. Um, the science takes you so far, and then you need to bring in the art, which is what we talk about in the engagement piece. Mm -hmm. So while I can, at the level of a corporation, determine, based on the analytics, what accounts we can go after and with what, until the um, salesperson is actually engaged and has uncovered those needs through everything that Keith has talked about, you never truly know what um, what the opportunity is. Mm -hmm. And so you have to marry those two together. But best in class companies, they do that and then they kind of see what happens and what doesn't happen and then they feed that back into their models so they can do better next time. Mm -hmm. And it's a constant learning environment. Mm -hmm.